Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? All right, let's get back to our wreck, shall we? Everybody's jumping up and down about an article. I have to take a look at this and see what the excitement is. Al Sadini, economic reform is the gateway to financial and banking reform. So Al Sadini said on Thursday, the economic reform is a gateway to financial and banking reform. While noting that the government is committed to providing the dollar at the official price and stressed its keenness to end the suffering of the Kurdistan employees due to their salary delays. Al Sudini said in a televised interview, Conducting the population consensus is the first step to implementing Article 140 of the Constitution was postponed to 2024 after it was scheduled to be held this year because of the provincial council elections. So basically, uh, Article 140, it is in three phases. Getting a census is one of them, but what they got to do is do something with the displaced people. And they're going to allow Kurdistan to determine their future. So this is going to be very interesting. He said, it is time to raise the outstanding problems between Baghdad and Erbel, which lies at the border of the budget ports. He added, we went to borrow from the Ministry of Finance to pay the salaries of the employees of Kurdistan region. And we were finding a solution with a legal amendment that considered the employees of the Kurdistan region like the rest of the Iraqi employees stressing that the government is keen to end the suffering of the crisis of the salaries of the Kurdistan employees. On the other hand, economic reform is a gateway to financial and banking reform and is the issue of the exchange rate requires this reform and we are committed to providing the dollar at the official rate to traders, investors, contractors, students, and travelers. He pointed out that 95% of our trade now passes through the electronic platform and there are those who circumvent the law and buy the dollar at the parallel price because he does not want to implement legal procedures. We will not accept the official dollar rate is equal to the parallel rate because it encourages smuggling. On foreign trade, al Sadini said there is no problem for the Iranian side in dealing with the trade with Iraq in dinars or tamans. Remember, they did this before they did it in dinars. The problem of the commercial transfers to Turkey has been solved by opening accounts in Turkish lira. He stressed that food prices have remained stable despite the attempt of manipulators to speculate on the price of the dollar. So like I was saying earlier, if they did trade in dinars, they've done this before. The problem was Iraq was trying to send them through the currency auction window to get dollars. U.S. told them to stop that. Then they decided to go to the black market, except for when you go into black market, the problem is there's not that many dollars available. So they're stuck with a ton of Iraqi dinars. Central bank achieves new step in right direction to regulate foreign trade. Our national economy has been suffering for two decades from a lack of clarity of methodology, fragmentation of policies and uncertainty in economic decision making, in addition to being affected by economic, political and security variables in the countries of the world and the countries of the region inside Iraq, which clearly led to a lack of stability in the monetary system and the financial system, and this to a lack of achieving the required economic stability and which increased the complexity of the matter is the weak coordination between monetary policy and the physical policy, and thus the lack of clear policies for the real sector, especially for agriculture, industry, and trade, both internal and external, and certainly the impact on the lack of control over the operations of foreign transfers of imports in U.S. dollars, which confected the monetary market and the commercial market during the years 2021 and 22, on the obligation of Iraq by the U.S. Federal Reserve to pass all foreign transfers through the electronic platform according to new controls and strict controls to control the arrival of the dollars to their final beneficiary. In other words, they want to monitor it. That's why they weren't sending money over to Iraq. They want them on the electronic platform so they can monitor the money and where it goes a lot better. In addition, the lack of controls of the government concerned authorities over illegal trade and the lack of control over unofficial border crossing, which forced the central bank to assume its role specified by Law 56 of 2004 and takes as of the first quarter of 2023 a large number of procedures, mechanisms, and negotiated efforts with the U.S. Federal Reserve 
and banks in other countries with which Iraq has important trade exchanges, such as China, India, and some discrete correspondence banks for the purpose of regulating foreign trade operations and controlling the movement of foreign transfers in accordance with sound international banking standards. The efforts of the central bank last week after a number of negotiating rounds that lasted for several months resulting in reaching a new agreement with the U.S. Federal Bank and in cooperation with the banks, STE Bank, J.P. Morgan, Singapore Development Bank, and through some Jordanian banks, which have accounts open for some Iraqi banks to open new banks, strengthening their balances in U.S. dollars and the new currencies, namely the euro, the Chinese yuan, the rupee, the UAE durham, with the aim of increasing the reception channels of trade and imports, facilitating the foreign transfer procedures, shortening the time limits of foreign transfers in the electronic platform, and addressing the rejections that previously occurred to some transfers of some traders, as well as issuing instructions to allow banks to import foreign currencies that they need for the purpose of converting their daily transactions in accordance with the special conditions and controls under the supervision of the central bank. The success of these steps requires the banks covered by the agreement with the U.S. Federal Reserve and wishing to import foreign currencies to provide the necessary requirements and provide all the conditions and capabilities to attract traders, importers, and customers in accordance with the standards and controls that have been agreed upon. Good lordy. This may require some time to enter the new method of foreign transfers with direct coverage of correspondent banks that have been agreed with the direct implementation to enhance banking balances and diversify foreign currencies. Said I believe and without a doubt that the central bank has begun to implement its new strategy with solid steps based on the accurate diagnosis of the problems of external transfers and the stability of the exchange rate. We hope that the number of banks covered and the num number of, I think they're trying to say discrepant here, <laughs> number of discrepant international correspondent banks whose dealings receive confidence from central banks, including the U.S. Federal Bank, will increase and in that the crisis of exchange rate stability will begin to take a breakthrough. So yes, this is the direction we want them to go into, start ironing out all the kinks now. Little by little, they keep adding other countries to start doing trade with. Iron out all the kinks, do it, whatever you need to do to make sure that everything goes smoothly so that when they really start to hit the international scene running, they'll be prepared. So the U.S. Fed agrees to meet central Iraq demands of 2024 cash shipments. So the Central Bank of Iraq delegations have completed its meeting with the U.S. Federal Reserve delegations and the U.S. Treasury Department in Dubai. Said so the U.S. appreciated the efforts made by the Central Bank of Iraq during 2023 to achieve compliance with the Iraqi banking system, according to the statement issued on Thursday by the Central Bank of Iraq. Said so the meetings resulted in a number of agreements related to supporting the policies of the Central Bank of Iraq and its orientation to support Iraqi banks in establishing relations with correspondent banks and a gradual transition of the process of strengthening the pre-balance of the accounts of these banks. The Central Bank of Iraq pointed out that this is in line with what the bank previously announced in its plan to gradually reduce dependence on the electronic platform so as to finish its work during the next year and limit it to the registration of financial transfers for the purpose of control, auditing, and analysis. The governor of the Central Bank of Iraq confirmed that the Central Bank is determined to support Iraqi banks, enhance their capabilities, and prepare them to work in accordance with international practices. Do whatever you need to do. Get them out there on the international scene. It was also agreed upon and approved by the U.S. Federal Reserve Bank and the U.S. Treasury to meet the request of the Central Bank of Iraq from cash shipments for 2024 and the media has witnessed a number of understandings that are aimed at building the capacity of Iraqi banks and enhancing the compliance with international standards. So in addition to that, don't forget that Iraq has been setting up transfers with UAE's bank so they can start doing trade. So it definitely looks like reform is well on its way with the banking system. Let's hope this continues. It looks like there's a lot of agreements that the U.S. will hold their word and make sure that Iraq gets the money that they need for 2024. Let's hope that nothing changes that. But they definitely need to get Article 140 out of the way. That's a big hesitation between Kurdistan and Iraq. That's also a big part of their tension between the two. So Iraq is looking good, still moving forward. That's what we want to see. 
especially since the stuff they're working on is going to help them do business internationally. Anyways, that's it for now. Let me know what you think. I look forward to hearing from you. I'm out.